Hello there, welcome again to another tutorial on computer vision. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through one of the coolest annotation tools called LabelMe. As you can see in here, LabelMe is open source, available on GitHub, and you can use it for your project. You can develop um, annotation for uh, object detection, semantic segmentation, and panoptic segmentation. You can also use it to develop annotation for images or videos. It's possible for both. Uh, more details are available on this um, GitHub page. If you come through that, you'll see that it has all the features and utilities available for creating advanced uh, uh, labels for your objects in the image. Um, please check out the GitHub page of LabelMe tool for more details and how to use it and in this tutorial I'm going to quickly go through some of the coolest features of LabelMe to properly annotate the data. Let's check it out. So to install LabelMe all you need to do is to open your terminal and if you have a virtual environment you can install the LabelMe into your already uh, available virtual environment or you can create a separate virtual em environment using uh, Conda. Uh, I have uh, the base environment and I would like to install it into the base environment so all I need to do is write, uh, write pip install label me. There we go, LabelMe has been installed successfully and to open it up you need to write LabelMe. That's all for installation and how to open the LabelMe. You'll get the icon of the LabelMe and here is it, here it is. So we will have on the left, left pan we have this open, open directory and some other options. Open basically opens up a single image for, uh, for labeling and opens, uh, open directory will open up uh, a collection of images in our directory so I'm going to open up um, a collection of images I have it on my desktop this is our image in order to write um, uh, in order to draw you need to right click and then you have all these options polygon rectangle circle line line point, line strip and you can later on edit your created uh, draw for example I want to create a um, rectangle for this sofa um, just click and then you have a pop-up window to write the name of the label and in case if you want to put a group ID you can just put the group ID here you'll have the label name in here you can right click and then you can create all the labels that you want to for example for this I want to create a label and I will call it um, a photo frame then we have this photo frame here and that's okay and then I want to create a polygon for this one all you need to do is to define the shape that you want to create a label for either using the polygon circle and I call it shelf and we have here the plan so I'm going to create a polygon for this plant as well There we go, we created a label for the plant and to draw a circle just 
choose the draw circle and you can create draw circle the draw circle works for drawing by expanding the radius um, here is the lamp and then we have um, I want to create a circle in here and this is the vase I want to create a circle in here and this I call it um, um, sofa table we have another sofa table in here and that's it um, you can create a rectangle for this plant part so this is also plant and then we have a chair here we can create a rectangle for this chair we can create a polygon for this cushions so it if this kind of thing happened just right click and say and do the last point to, or you can just use the control Z or in case of Mac you can use the the command Z and we have a cushion here so I'm just gonna use this so it our labeling is kind of done in order to edit your label back all you need to do is to right click and come to the edit part so you can create all the labels that you have just created you can reduce the size you can move it around if you want to I can you can enlarge it and small make it uh, small you can reduce the size in here you can change it a little bit um, so that's how you how you how you do that and yeah for the UI that's all and you have this uh, brightness option as well in here to increase the brightness or the contrast of the image you can do that in here as well in case you need it but you you may not need that um, you you may not really need this part but in case you need you can use it it's all already available you can create duplicate polygons in here you can do undo and delete polygons around and finally you can save it and when you save the um, when you press the save button it actually saves the annotation file into a JSON format given the name from the actual image if we come back and open up our um, so I'm gonna close this it is saved and if I come back to open up our um, file so you can see the JSON file has been created and if we open up the JSON file, we have all this required information for each object. For example, for the sofa, we have the X, Y and the center point. And if there is a group ID, we can have it. And the shape type and for the photo frame, we have this uh, X, Y and center point. And uh, we have the shape type and so on. And finally, we have this image, which is encod encoded into uh, uh, into a uh, encoded format and then you have the height and width of the image which is uh, pretty required when you're trying to normalize your label so that's all and uh, there are a few command lines that is very helpful if you want to use it for example you have created your label image in a JSON file now you want to go back and edit your file again so how to do that or you have a JSON file and image file and you want to um, visualize them how you're gonna do that or finally you want to create a data set out of your JSON files how you're gonna do that uh, utility commands are provided by label me to visualize your image uh, back with the with the with the annotation file all you need to do is write label me and then the image that we have just labeled so I'll just call it uh, let's go for the desktop and image data and then label me the image file jpeg and then dash capital O and then the JSON file that we have just created so that is living room dot JSON um, sorry that's um, label me label me like this 
Okay, so we got our image with the label annotation on it back and you can do further edit and then save it. You can edit it again a little bit and then you can save that image back and the annotation will be saved. This is one command I, I wanted to show and there is one more command if you just want to visualize your label file uh, alongside the image. So to do that, uh, write down label me draw JSON and then the JSON file. So it will visualize the image and also the, the label file you can see here. So we have our original image in here and also the labeled image in here. And this is the annotation or the labels that we have just created. And you can see it is uh, clearly visualized in different colors, which is pretty cool. And finally, I want to show you the, the last command, how to um, convert these labels into a data set. Uh, there is a lack of um, feature for the label me that you cannot convert all the JSON files at once. So you gotta do it separately. But still, it's pretty cool. You can use it for, for b basic purposes. Uh, if you want to like uh, use more advanced features, uh, I highly recommend you to go for um, into the GitHub uh, page for the label me and then learn about the features how you can use it for the advanced advanced features like creating um, a complete data set from all the images that you have created. Uh, let's see how we can uh, convert this to, to a data set. Uh, all you need to do is uh, write down label me JSON to data set. And this should do the job. And then you have to provide the JSON file that you have created and the small o. And then the name of the data set, I'm going to call it data set example yep if you come here you see that the data set directory has been created if you go inside we have this uh, label names in the text file format all the label names available in here and then we have our uh, label images visual in a uh, PNG format we have all this uh, image and also the label that we have created and finally um, we have the label in um, uh, the color with, with the different colors in case you want to use the color of the um, annotated objects and the actual image itself so that's all for the label me uh, for we will use this uh, annotation format uh, later on on our object annotation. Please check out that video as well. And uh, if you like this video, please press the thumb button and subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate that. Hope it was helpful. And if you want me to uh, create a tutorial or any on any other computer vision. Uh, project, please write it down in the comment section. I will definitely check it and create that tutorial on that part as well. So thank you so much for the watch for watching. Hope you like it and have a great day.